Hi, I'm Valerie Brutinelli. Today, we are going to make a Cajun Fettuccine Alfredo with andouille. I'm telling you, this is the most flavorful, easiest weeknight meal you're ever gonna put together, and they're gonna be screaming for seconds. So, if you're cooking along with me, the first thing I would like you to do is get a big pot of boiling water on the stove, because that's what you're gonna cook your pasta in, and that's the first thing we're gonna do. We're gonna get 12 ounces of pasta in boiling water, but before you put your pasta in the boiling water, right before, you're gonna grab some salt and get a nice healthy pinch in there. And then another nice healthy pinch because you're gonna flavor your pasta this way. There you go, nice salty water. Do not put olive oil in there, you want salt. Here we go, let's get that fettuccine in there. And as the pasta cooks, we're gonna make the Alfredo sauce. Just wanna make sure all of that gets down. As the end of the fettuccine softens, you can get the top part in so that every piece of fettuccine is covered with nice, salty, bubbling water. Okay, that's done. So let's get that Alfredo sauce put together. So this is my way of putting my two loves together. My love of Cajun and Louisiana cooking and my absolute love for Italian cooking. Who doesn't love, who doesn't love fettuccine Alfredo? I know everybody in my family loves it. And we also all love Louisiana cooking. And the thing I love most about Louisiana cooking is gumbo and I always have andouille on hand. So we're gonna put all of those classic flavors into a classic Alfredo and it's our own classic. It's not classic Cajun, it's not classic Alfredo, it's our own, we're inventing our own. First thing we wanna do is get a little pot over here and get some oil in there, get the heat on. Because we're gonna saute up the andouille and start to build our Alfredo sauce. What's gonna happen is the andouille is gonna infuse some flavor into this oil and this is gonna infuse all the flavor. We're gonna build our pasta sauce right here next to the pasta that's boiling away. So let's slice up our andouille. So andouille is a nice, spicy, smoky pork sausage that you find all over Louisiana. I have come to love this sausage so much. I kid you not, I make my sausage and peppers with it. Good old Italian sausage and peppers I make with andouille. Don't tell my nonni. There's something so rich and spicy and it's just perfectly blended. It's got all those classic Cajun seasonings in there. It's got you know paprika and garlic powder. And so we're just gonna cut it into little rounds and then we're gonna saute these right up. There we go. Yeah, okay, I'm gonna wait for that to heat up. Look at my pasta, make sure it's not sticking to the bottom. It's always good to make sure it doesn't stick to the bottom. Give it a little stir. You can also see how well it's done, and this is totally, obviously, not done yet. Give that a quick stir. So while our sausage browns and caramelizes, we're gonna put our own version of the Holy Trinity together. The Holy Trinity is the classic base for almost all of Cajun cooking. It is a green pepper, celery, and onion. But instead of using an onion, we're gonna go a little milder and use a scallion. So we're gonna get all these out here, ready to go. We wanna chop our green pepper into bite-sized pieces, getting rid of all of the seeds. Okay, this is the base of all the Cajun cooking that I've learned to do, and it's the only time you will find me eating a green bell pepper. Other than that, I don't like them. I like the red, I like the yellow, I like the orange. Not fond of the green, but when it's in the Holy Trinity, something magical happens. Okay, let's uh, turn these guys over. They're looking good. Turn these over and around. Here we go, almost there. 
And we want these in little bite-sized pieces because you're going to see these all throughout our pasta dish. It's going to add some beautiful color. It's going to slice them and then dice them. You have to be careful when you're talking about traditional foods, like um, Alfredo. It was invented in Rome by a man named Alfredo. Um, in his restaurant, I think his wife was pregnant, and he made this up for her, and she absolutely loved it, so then he put it on the menu in, in his restaurant. And now we all get to enjoy it. And I think, oh, if the story is true, Douglas Fairbanks and Mary Pickford went on a honeymoon in Rome. And they went to this restaurant, tried the dish. They absolutely loved it. So then they please begged for the recipe, and they got the recipe. So they took it home, and they made it, and all their friends loved it. And they sent Alfredo a gold fork and spoon to serve the Alfredo at his restaurant. I love history and stories and finding out how dishes were made and all the different nuances that, that go into it. Okay, these, these are looking beautiful. They're nice and oh, so beautifully caramelized. So I am gonna add in the green pepper so they soften. Give that a little stir around. And while the green pepper softens, I'll chop up the celery. All right, celery time. I'm just gonna give this a quick hit down the middle. I'm using the whole celery, even the very, very little ends, because I love them. So no leftovers for Bloody Mary today. Usually I'll save those for Bloody Mary. So this goes in. As you finish them, just pop them in. Give it a little stir. already starting to smell amazing. And now instead of the traditional white onion or yellow onion that goes in the Holy Trinity, let's add some scallions. They're a little bit gentler. They have some beautiful color in them with the bright green at the end. And these will go right in. I'm a little slower when I cut these because if I do it too quickly, they start to roll off the board. <laughs> And you just want to cut these all the way down till you hit the green and use some of that green because that's going to add some beautiful color. Just don't go all the way. There we go. And get that right in. Give it another stir. And I'm gonna take a look at my pasta, see how it's doing. Why don't you take a look at your pasta and see how it's doing too, okay? I can see it's still, yeah, it's still a little firm, which is great. We want it al dente. But honestly, if it's a little tiny bit overcooked, it doesn't matter. It's a vehicle for the sauce. Who, who are we kidding, really, right? Speaking of sauce, now we're gonna start building the sauce. So I wanna add a little bit more Cajun flavor so I've got some Cajun seasoning, and this is basically onion powder, garlic powder, oregano, cayenne pepper. It's all those flavors that are traditional to Cajun seasonings, and that goes right in. Let them toast up a little bit. When you toast up your spices, it gives them superpowers. So you gotta give them time to get their superpowers. There. 
there. Now, two things that make an Alfredo sauce are Parmesan and cream. So let's get some cream in there. We want it cheesy and we want it creamy. So we'll get a cup in there. And you just want to lay that right in through all your veggies and your andouille. You're going to hear the sizzle start to dissipate. But you're going to bring this up. You really want to thicken it up. And give that a quick stir. OK, so what we want to happen now is we really want to let this cream heat up and thicken up. So let's give it a chance. And what we're going to do in the meantime is chop up some parsley for some garnish. You know, I say for garnish, but there, there's, a, there's a real reason that we do use parsley so much. It's got this beautiful, fresh flavor to it. And when you're eating something so rich, you really want to break it up a little bit with either acid or freshness. So we're not going to put any acid in here, but we are going to add some freshness with our parsley. So give it a quick chop. So put that to the side, and we'll use this for garnish in, in the sauce and on our plate. There we go. I'm going to give a look-see. Oh, this is looking good. OK, so it should be ready. I like the way it looks. I like the way it's kind of silky and sliding off. I think it's ready. The sauce is also thickening up. This is awesome. Everything's coming together all at once. OK, sauce is thickening up. Only thing that needs now is some cheese to really thicken it up. But let's get the pasta in there first. And all of the starch that's in the water is also going to infuse into the sauce and help thicken it up, too. So let me grab. Now, the pasta already has water on it. I'm not going to drain all of it. And don't you dare rinse your pasta. You want that starch. That goes right in. Now we need to get the cheese on there. About a half a cup. You can pre-grate this if you want to, but don't buy the pre-grated. When you buy pre-grated cheese, they sometimes coat it with cornstarch or something. So we want nice, fresh cheese in here. We don't need any help from the cornstarch. We have the pasta water, and we have the cream. Since one is too much cheese. So we got both turned off. Oh, look at this. And I'm just going to first stir this a little bit. If it needs the pasta water, I will add it. If it doesn't, I won't. Just got to look at it. I mean, putting my two great loves together, Italian cooking and Louisiana cooking, it just like, they're meant for each other. You may not believe this, but I'm going to add a little bit more cheese. Look at the pretty green. It's just so pretty. I think this sauce is looking good. I don't know if I need any pasta water. Maybe just a touch? Looks awful good to me. Sometimes when you put the pasta in, it has just enough water all around it that you don't need to add any more. I, I have to have some of this. It's just my nose is just dying to take a bite. Now I'm going to try and do my twirl and show you how I do this. Close your tongs. Unclose your tongs and bring them up and try to keep twirling. Now, we got to add some of that good stuff.
And we're not done yet. Oh my goodness. Just all over the plate, just all over. I mean, did you see how fast that happened? Did you see that? You got dinner on the table in less than 20 minutes. One last thing. For that freshness, get it in there too. I mean. <laughs> All right, no more waiting. I'm eating. A little bit of everything. Get in my belly. You guys, you can totally taste the freshness of the veggies and that andouille sausage. Yeah, it's spicy, but the cream and the cheese with the pasta, the fettuccine, it really mellows out the spice. And you saw how quickly it came together. I mean, that's a weeknight meal. They're gonna think you slaved all day over the stove and you can tell them that you did and then serve them this.